afternoon, guys. Hope you're well. Same process as ever with Max on either side. Just be mindful that it's a busy uh, open section with being a Sunday embargo. We'll set that for 10.30 on Saturday evening towards the end. So where to start, please? No? Good afternoon, Pep. Um, next up for you is a trip to an improving Chelsea. I think it's one defeat in their last five Premier League games. What have you made of them under Maurizio Pochettino and what are you expecting from them? I'm not there, so it's normal. Though this is getting better, every manager needs his time, so new club, new players, but uh, sooner or later and I guess sooner than later we'll be top, uh, you know, be a, a contender because the quality in all departments are there. I want to focus on uh, Rico Lewis. He's become a, a real key member of your first team squad. How much are you pleased with his progress and how far can he go? If he, if he was a little bit taller, we'll be considered one of the best players in the Premier League. Problems you have with this, uh, so small, so small. He's an exception, an exceptional player. So, and his contribution since last season arrived and start to settle with us. Every game have played, I played in a high standards in all departments, defensively, offensively, understand the game, the movements. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, we are really, really pleased for academy players. Uh, Became a can be a regular player, is already a regular player in many many moments, so we are really pleased. And just finally, from me, is your team this season, and this is going to sound a silly question, playing better than the team that won the treble last season? <laughs> no, I don't know. The team last season played really good in the previous season as well, in the previous season as well, so a consistency defined a little bit this type of group, all this period together, so. I'm not going to undermine and underestimate the previous teams, even the first season, the second season, when we had 100 points. Like in every season, little details change, but the mentality and the consistency have been there. Hi, Pep. A um, couple of days, I guess, to assess him. How is John Stones? What's the diagnosis? Uh, he's injured. He's not ready for, uh, for tomorrow, and we'll see when we come back from the international break. Is it possible? For the Liverpool game, no, no, no. for example, I don't know. Who do you look to fill the John Stones role? You said on Tuesday night you are in trouble uh, when he when he's missing the, the way he he helps knit the team together. Who do you look to in to fill that? Well, role? the partnership with I don't know, with Rodri, especially last season and the fine season, the fine moments of the last season have been one of the key points for us. But unfortunately, this season we could use him. Not much for the is injured, so but now it's time to reflect what we have to do. We can do better to don't be rancid then and, and when we come back, be consistent in terms of be ready to, to be used. How's Manuel? Manuel Akanji as well. Yeah, good. Good for Sunday. Yeah. We train today and train wood. Um finally just one on, on Cole Palmer since he left. He wanted game time. That's one of the reasons he said that he left. He's he's seemingly making it work. What have you have you managed to watch much of him at Chelsea? Really pleased. So, the reason why was that when a game time, he has it. So congratulations. So, he's a guy. He came from the academy. Is uh, having success. It's because it's good for him and wish him the best. Yeah, just on Cole, Pep. Um, yeah, do you feel it's a shame that he's not? He's no longer here when you, when he's obviously doing quite well at Chelsea. No, congratulations for Chelsea for him. And on another. Chelsea player, Raheem Sterling, who you, you worked with for a number of years. Did you feel, um, well, did you feel are you surprised that, he, um, that there's no place for him in the England squad at the He's moment? playing really good. He's back in uh, his best moments, his, his performance, what I've seen lately. So always create incredible dangers for the opponents. What he has done here with us for many, many years, part of the big success we had in the early ages, early ages, early years together, Raheem was really, really important. I understand it's still early, but you said no to the Liverpool game. Have you got in your mind any idea when no. Stones is coming back? Is it as bad as you first thought? Because you were pretty down about it. No. no, no. It's the not as bad as said, first the thought. Doc, the doctor said to me it's not as bad, but still, uh, I don't know. I don't want to 
install or create tempo uh, when he's going to be fit again and he's going to come back. Um, Gareth Southgate talked yesterday about those players not getting regular game time. It's just this game and the one camp before the Euros. Um, Calvin Phillips, one of those names that was talked about again. How much of an opportunity does he ha now maybe have with a number of your side injured? It's normal the situation from, from Gareth, but he have a lot of confidence with uh, with Calvin and we are really pleased with that. He, I said many times he deserved the best and it's normal that he wants players for the national team that play regularly. This is normal. But uh, in the other cases have been there are many, many national team managers that uh, when rely on one player, it doesn't matter play a lot or not, you rely on and this is the key point. Hi Pep, you said a lot recently the football isn't copy-paste and you can't just get one player to do another. In terms of John's injury and that partnership with Rodri and having the extra man in midfield, do you think it is something that Josko Gradiol could do maybe eventually? It seems like he's got similar characteristics to be able to do that. Yeah, maybe, but I did still I didn't prove it in the training session and in some drills that we do to see how you move in a position more central. I still I didn't see it. So maybe in the future, because he's 21 years old, I can do it. In the beginning, when we arrived, we could not expect that John could do that. <clears throat> and after did it, the fact that the John can do it is because I've been eight years together, and many, 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 many examples of trainings or concepts is there. So at the end, John Josco is just two, three months, four months with us, so we need more, even more time. And I was speaking to Matthias Manner yesterday, I believe. Matthias Manner, you know, the Argentinian, he's mm -hmm. the analyst for them. He's, he said to mention his name, you might enjoy it. Um, he wants, well, we were talking about Julian Alvarez's best position, because for Argentina in the last international break, he played with Lautaro Martinez up front. Obviously, he's played a few different positions for you. What do you think is his best position and why? I can play a striker behind a striker, central position, close to the box, to help you for the first intense high pressing. And after he moved really every time much better in the pockets, but normally it's a nine, but can play like a second second striker behind Erling in that case. So in Argentina, like play with with Messi, can play more forward, like uh, alongside, <coughs> same like Lautaro, but he can play in central positions, he, he's adapting really well. Yeah. Hi, Pep. Um, obviously, there's been quite a big overhaul in Chelsea's squad uh, this year as well as, as well as last year. What similarities do you see between your first year here and Pochettino's at Chelsea? I don't know. First, it's a long time ago, and I even forgot what happened for the season, and I'm not there. So I could not give you an answer, I don't know. And you mentioned Guardiola there being 21. Obviously, you've got four, five, six exceptionally good young players that are between 20 and, and 23. How important has it been for the club over the last couple of years to have to have gone out and got those or developed? Because it's probably going to set the club up for the next five, six, seven years. Yeah, it's, it's a good point. When you have changes, you have the age, it's important. We can make one sign like Matteo, for example, but the other ones always we try to bring young, young, young players to be, make his career, start his career, his name in the world football here. And and it's really, really important, yeah, because it's a financial issue, but the spirit for sportive is good. We would love to have always still all legend that we had here and still play, play, but the time is passed for everyone, especially for the athletes, and bring Mateus and Josco and Jeremy and yeah, you know Oscar Bob now is come with us. Rico Lewis and this type of players is really important. With as much they are here, mm -hmm. training session games, season, season. At the end, we'll be, we'll control. We'll feel that uh, I can be here, and this is incredible value for us. For the replace teams, we have done two or three times already since we arrived, and still be consistent. It works. It talks for itself how good. Uh, Chiki and Farhan and all the people involved in the in the transfers and the decision they have made to bring players here is really good. Okay,
it's just nice to, to stick to one just because I've got four of you to get through. Yeah, uh, you. Hi, Pep. You, you've qualified for the knockout stages of the Champion League 11 years now, which speaks to great consistency and suggests you're one of the leading, most consistent teams in Europe. But when you look at a club like Chelsea, who were obviously at the top in England for so many years, competing for the title and obviously haven't been for the last two, three years, is that kind of a warning that, that nothing's taken for you can't take anything for granted, that there's no guarantees and you've got to really sort of maintain that consistency to avoid what's happened to Chelsea? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not, in, uh, again, yeah. uh, any comment about Chelsea that I'm not there. But uh, always we talk and remind ourselves. So last day, for example, we qualify. Uh, it's normal. Celebrate it. I said to the players, celebrate it. Because one day maybe we are not there. If we stop to do what we have to do, and maybe the opponents are better than us, we will not be there. And uh, and that's why I'm completely agree with you. For the fact that uh, we have done in the past, we're not doing well, you go down. And the down never ends. <laughs> you can be more and more and more. So that's why take in perspective, be calm, relax, make good moments and bad moments for everywhere every team around the world, not for the fact we are just named Man City or, and the last years have been good, that means it's going to happen in the future, in the nearly, nearly you know, not in the, <laughs> in 10 years, in the tomorrow. If you are aware of that, you are closer that uh, still be consistent, still there in Europe for the many years. Pep, I think Kevin said he was due a scan this week on his um, injury. Is there an update on, on that and um, when you might expect him back? I don't know. I spoke with him uh, two days ago and I, yeah, he said, I feel really good. But still, he's not training with us, not, I think, running much. And uh, I, I don't know, but I would say it's the last, you know, time to come back to start to train with us. I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I would like to say in two weeks, one week, three weeks, but this kind of injuries better don't put pressure. Well, he feels good, and the doctors and physicians say, okay, next step, next step, he's coming. No, no, no put pressure in. It's like you said with John, the two colleagues of you asked me about that. So recover. So it's not necessary to, to do the bad decisions or wrong decisions to come back earlier for days or weeks and after back again. So Kevin was a tough injury, was a surgery, so step by step. Hi, Pep. In, in your first season here, um, Chelsea won the title, Antonio Conte's team. What's kind of like your first challenge after that to sort of to, to knock Chelsea down a bit? And the fact that they haven't really been a real title challenger to you ever since, is that one of your main achievements here, do you think? The achievement is what we have done, not because it's Chelsea or in other clubs. Chelsea remains one of the more important teams in England, no, no problem. In that period, won the Champions League with Thomas Tuchel, so against that. So it's true that in the Premier League, uh, we're not close to win the Premier League in these seasons, but uh, it's one of the strongest teams. There's no doubts about that. So I see that in the last games, they are alive, they have good spirit, they are aggressive, they have a good pattern, so the quality is there. It's one of the toughest games that we have during the season. In the same time, we go there with, uh, yeah, optimistic for who have seen and the way they're training, the mood of the team. We are right now unexpected for two, three weeks ago, top of the league right now, and this is what we have to try to maintain the level, the quality of the of the game. But sooner or later, Chelsea will be there fighting for the titles. No doubt about that.